We want to be on the field. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a fact. Um, and we're going to be on the field. But at the same time, you know, we push the season back because, you know, the main thing is obviously we, we want to be safe. And, you know, I swear, like, you know, a lot of us have felt sometimes I could have swore I might have had a COVID about three times. Like oh, it, any, any little thing you feel like in your in your throat or something. Oh, man, I, do I got it? Do I got it? So it, you, you don't know what to do. You just try to do the best you can. That's all you can do. By all the kids and the family, especially, um, you know, we got children that stay, stay with elderly people. So it's like once you start mixing and mingling, mm-hmm. how you social distance five feet, six feet, six and a half Seven feet, six six feet, keep you safe. You know what I'm saying? What is it? It's we all about contact. Really don't know, all about contact sport. Hey, I got don't know. I heard somebody say one time um, when they were talking about COVID. Um, it was one of my friends of mine. They was like, man, you know, we, they had told me that you know they thought they had COVID. They went outside. You know how they said the heat kills it. Yeah. They went outside and sat outside the whole day <laughs> and sweated <laughs> in the sun. <laughs> hey. Why I did not, that one right? day too. Right I did that one day. Why not? I did it one day about four, five hours, man. Just one feeling like myself. I sat outside. I can 90 degree you weather. You got it by his tan. I think my whole family was on the boat about 13 days, 13 days straight sitting in the sun. You know what I'm yeah. Uh, yeah. Real quick, I want to talk about Calvin. Now, you heard that you got the older kids. They're all in college. But three years ago, you had a dream. And you wanted to do a football here in Vero Beach for the kids because it just wasn't done right. It wasn't being done right. You heard my grumblings. You heard everybody else's grumblings. Uh-huh. And you were tired of it. Uh-huh. And you stepped up, man. And, and hats off to you for that. Sure. Talk about what you've accomplished so far with that. Oh, man, listen. You know, it's a group effort. Yeah, of course. It, it, it You know, a lot of, I get a lot of credit, you know. Um, but it is truly a group effort from the beginning. You know, yourself. You know, even Derek, you know, from the beginning, beginning. Um, I got some good close friends. Um, Antoine Rivers, who's the vice president. Keith Woolard, everybody knows these names. Mike White, um, uh, Ricka Collins, you know. Um, we put in some work, you know, behind the scenes. We were working, so it's a, it's a group effort. And um, we we happy to be in the position that we are. Like, I, I'm excited, like, because I'm like, wow, man, we, we went from, I used to, Coach at Sebastian. Right. I used to be that coach that wasn't heard. Like, had ideas, had ways to, to make us better, but it was like, oh, you just the coach. And in my mind, I'm like, all right, we'll see. Okay, hold on. One day, right. it's coming. You like the guy that gets cut, so I'm gonna come back here. And it came. <laughs> and it came. It did. And you've done so, great things out there, Calvin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's fantastic. Appreciate I can't wait to see this it. thing five, ten years from now. Appreciate it's it. It's gonna be amazing. So we're gonna take a quick break when we come back to off the sideline at the downtown Dapper. Much more with Calvin, Zoe, and Big Joe. We'll see you after these messages. <laughs> 